Hi, John here with Osage County Guns. I've got another six hour product update to share with you guys today. And the first item that I'm going to be talking about is SIG's SRD45 suppressor. This suppressor was announced at the beginning of last year, but it's just starting to ship now. And we wanted to do a quick unboxing video, give you some of the specs, and show you what's included, and then talk about compatibility down to 9 and 40. So we'll go ahead and show you the contents of the box first, show you how they've packaged the uh, suppressor. We've got the suppressor itself. It does have one piston already you know, pre-installed, and that is the .578 by 28. The spare piston is M16 by one left-handed. Uh, combined, those two are going to cover just about all of the 45 threaded barrels in the US. And uh, unlike some of the other suppressor companies, you know, they're giving you both, so you don't have to go out and buy either, uh, you know, a different piston or uh, potentially, you know, different threaded barrel, uh, things like that. Um, we've got the end cap removal tool. They're now shipping with a little bag, just a bag you can transport it in, and the instruction manual. Um, as I described, it does come with the two pistons, and you can also convert this to 9mm or 40 so SIG has two pistons for 40 caliber, two for 9mm. In the description, we're going to list the part numbers and the thread pitches so that if you do want to convert and run it on one of those two calibers, you'll be able to identify the parts you need. Uh, changing the piston is extremely easy. You just unscrew the rear cap. And that does turn counterclockwise for removal. Um, you'll notice that it's obviously been test fired at the factory. You can see the residue. But uh, to change it, we'll just insert the other piston and seat it. And then you're going to turn clockwise. And it's that easy to change either the uh, piston for your 45 or changing down to one of the other calibers. The baffles are removable, and you've got the removal of the in, you know, in cap removal tool. You'll also turn that counterclockwise to get it started. It may be pretty tight when you first open it and then it'll start to turn freely. To keep our table clean I'm just going to lay out a piece of loose leaf because I know these baffles will be a little dirty. And I'll see if I can pull them out where they stay stacked for you. And you've got your, your tube and then your baffles and again you can see um, they're pretty dirty from the factory. And then you can just replace these, you know, one by one after you've cleaned them. So I wanted to give you the weight and the dimensions of the suppressor, and uh, SIG specs say 12 ounces. Uh, my scale says 12.7, so um, we'll call it 12.7. And then the uh, height is right at about 8. SIG says 7.9 and if I rotate it down we're at approximately one and a quarter and SIG says 1.38 um, I would say that their measurement is going to be more accurate than, than that tape. 
So uh, roughly uh, 12 point seven ounces, one and three eighths inch diameter, seven point nine inches, eight inches long. And then this is the packaging SIG is currently using for the spare pistons. So the particular piston I have here is the um, 13.5 by one left-handed piston, six part number SRD dash piston dash M135 X1 LH. And uh, this is to convert the SRD 45 to nine millimeter. This piston will also work in SIG's SRD nine can, but that has not started shipping from the factory. I understand as of uh, this particular video uh, being shot uh, that SIG does have the SRD9 uh, suppressors in stock at the factory and I, I expect that they're just pending ATF uh, approvals on Form 3s to go to dealers and distributors. And uh, for reference, uh, we're shooting this video on February 25th, 2016. We've been getting a lot of winter-like weather here in central Missouri over the last week or two and it's going to be drying out this weekend and warming up. Following this clip, we're going to show you the SRD45 on my 1911 TAC Ops at our outdoor range area. I think it'll be dry enough by then for us to take it out and give you some uh, quick clips. Uh, that segment will follow this, and we'll show you the suppressor uh, on the TAC Ops, and then we'll show you the difference when we're running it unsuppressed. Hey guys, John here with Osage County Guns. We're out on a range. We're going to do a quick demo with the SRD45 using my 1911 Pack Ops chambered in 45. Uh, we've got some real heavy winds with storms blowing in. So uh, I'm hoping that you get some clear audio out of this mic. Uh, we're going to give you the best we can. If it's bad, we'll probably post it and shoot another video in a few weeks. Uh, we're trying to get it in today because we're going to get heavy rain for the next week straight. So we want to at least get you a little bit of footage of the suppressor. Um, we're going to put it down range. We've got a GoPro set up. I know guys have asked for the GoPro or at least some footage on our target. So I set the GoPro up on the target. Hopefully it works well for us. And uh, we're going to give you some footage. We're going to shoot suppressed and unsuppressed, starting with unsuppressed. We're using uh, the, the mics at a fixed audio level. So hopefully uh, you'll be able to see and hear a difference between running suppressed and unsuppressed.
The last point to mention is the price point. Sig set MSRP of the SRD45 at $695. You can buy it on our website at OsageCountyGuns.com today for $629, and we are doing free shipping. Just remember that because it's an NFA regulated item, we do have to send it to a dealer who has an SOT. Once we receive his FFL and SOT, we're seeing about 30 to 40 days for approval times from the ATF on that Form 3. Let us know if you have any questions and leave a comment below. You can check us out on Facebook, Instagram, or again at OsageCountyGuns.com. Thanks, guys.